Hey guys, uh, day 92 here. Um, if you're wondering where day 91 went, uh, we produced it, but I'm running it by the person it's related to to see if they actually want it posted. Um, if not, uh, then I guess you'll never see it, but probably will be. Um, just might have to wait a day or two. Um, today we're reading some Burmese folk tales by Mong Tin Hong. Yeah. Um, these are really terrible. Like, they're, they, they sound like children's tales, but they're really not. Or they're, they're kind of in the, the weird Burmese sense. Um, the first one is called Why the Snail's Muscles Never Ache. And uh, it's kind of very similar to the, the tortoise and the hare. But um, gets a little different. So, um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Uh, tomorrow we'll be doing another folktale, a Burmese folktale, um, which I'm going to record in tandem just after this one. Um, yeah, I hope y'all enjoy. Let's get started. Why the snail's muscles never ache. The horse passed the snail on the road, and in a contemptuous tone shouted, The slow must always give way to the swift. <laughs> the snail replied with dignity, we snails run swiftly only in a race. The horse laughed loudly at this, and the snail challenged him to a race to be run the next morning. The horse accepted this challenge. The snail summoned all of his cousin snails to him. Look here, you fellows, he said. Horseflesh is medicinal. It cures paining limbs and aching muscles. Do you want to have some? All the cousin snails replied that they wouldn't mind a little bit of horse flesh. All right, said the snail. Now listen carefully to my instructions. He then told them to line the road for many miles and instructed that between each cousin snail, the distance was to be exactly one furlong. The snail went to sleep after that, and the cousin snails walked to their respective stations along the road. As they walked so slowly, it took them the whole day and night to be ready for the race. The next morning, the horse came to the snail and asked with due sarcasm, Are you ready, Master Runner? The snail replied that he was ready and laid down the conditions of the race. The runner should run on and on along the road until one was left behind, and at every furlong the runner should call out to each other to signify that neither had fallen behind. The horse agreed, and the race started. The horse ran swiftly, but the snail walked at a leisurely pace. At the first furlong, the horse shouted, Are you still in the race, Master Runner? Of course I am, said a cousin snail, and the horse was really surprised. He stopped and looked around carefully, and saw the cousin snail walking sedately by his side. The horse thought that the cousin snail was the snail, and said, I will outstrip you all right at the next furlong. But at the next furlong, there was a cousin snail ready to pretend that he was the snail. The horse lost his temper and ran and ran, but all the ways at the end of the furlong, there was a cousin snail. At last, the horse fell down dead as a result of too much running. The snail and the cousin snails later ate up the dead body of the horse. And to this day, painful limbs and aching muscles are unknown to the snails. Delightful. 